Hey, this is Anton from the hyperadvisor.com. Um, I'm this is the final video for the cloud stack management setup piece. Uh, in the previous videos, I set up a virtual machine with CentOS on it and pretty much configured the networking. Uh, it was a Hyper V one, so it installed the uh, Linux integration piece. Um, configured the network, updated the system so that everything's um, up to date, and then configured SE Linux to be permissive, then reboot it. So we're at the point now I've SSH back into the, the system where we need to configure the uh, YUM repository for CloudStack, and then from there we can go ahead and install the CloudStack um, RPMs and dependencies and then set up the database and then the management server. So let's go ahead and configure the, the repository for CloudStack. Okay, so the cloud stack repo is set up. Let's just do a yum update. Okay, no issues with the repository and and what we're gonna do is yum um, whoop, yum install cloud dash client. Go ahead and do the Y switch to install all the dependencies and don't worry about prompting them. Uh, so this is uh, going to install a bunch of different packages and dependencies here. It's going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward through this process and next we'll do the MySQL server. Okay, so all the uh, CloudStack client packages and dependencies have installed. Let's go ahead and install uh, MySQL Server um, and, uh, and NTP. Install MySQL Server. And NTP. All right, now those packages have installed. Let's go ahead and then start the service for the MySQL database. It will also install uh, or configure um, MySQL to start at runtime. Um, and once we install, and once we have that set up, we can actually go ahead and let's configure the security uh, password for um, MySQL. And run a command. The default password is none. Um, but we want to set a password here 
and for the password, um, I'm going to make it here. All right, I think I remember that. Okay, and we're going to remove anonymous users. Uh, disallow root from remote access, uh, remove to test databases, don't need them, and reload the, the privilege tables. Okay, so we got all that set up now. We can go ahead and, and do the setup for cloud stack, uh, the database piece. And we can do cloud, um, what is it? Cloud setup dash database. Basis. Um, uh, the password here at localhost. Deploy as. Uh, we'll deploy this as. Root and the password reset. Okay, so I think that's the right password that I use up there. And we'll run this. Uh, I have a typo here. Set up. Fat finger. All right, so this will go through and set up the database for cloud stack here, the management piece. This will take a little bit as well, so I'll fast forward through this, and when we get to the end, I'll say that we it's successfully finished everything. There. Okay, so that piece has finished uh, successfully. Now let's run the uh, cloud setup and management here. All right, so with that done, the management service should be running. Let's open up a browser here. Okay, so the URL we need to go to is the host name on port 8080 and then client, as you can see here. And we can see it's just the management server is actually running because the web page comes up to be able to log into it. Uh, the default is admin password for the first time you log in. And the first time you log in, it prompts you to either go through a wizard, which takes you through a basic installation here, or you can actually skip this piece and go directly to the default um, portal or interface uh, UI for the Cloud Stack management piece. So we're gonna go through it and skip this and go directly into the interface here. Now, uh, for this video, I'm just going to leave it at this. I'll get more into the the interface in a separate video. But um, next, what we need to do is set up the the actual host, the virtualization host that uh, we'll bring into Cloud Stack, and also set up uh, and and bring in uh, an NFS server. So until next video. Uh, Peace out.